Hey guys, sorry this is a rather extremely ghetto video, um, in comparison to my other videos where I actually have a background and stuff, um, but I'm heading over to a friend's house shortly, um, and I'm actually gonna be eating the hottest pepper, the Carolina Reaper pepper, um, with her, so, um, that should be up either today or tomorrow, um, just depending on when I get around to it. Um, so, um, go to my main channel, which will be in the description box. I'll probably be answering questions in the comment section, so you can just look there and click on my channel and subscribe, and the video should be up soon. Um, so today I'm just going to be doing a quick little video on second hole ear stretching. Um, mine is at the moment 5 eighths, I'm taping at the moment to 3 fourths. And then my other ear is zero gauge, and I'm pretty happy with it at the size it is. I might go to a double zero, but I don't know. So, um, my experience with double, um, or second hole stretching, um, is personally that it's very different than earlobes. Um, a lot of people who I've talked to also say it's different than earlobe stretching. So I do want to just kind of touch base on my experience with it and um, some helpful tips and tricks just because um, you shouldn't walk into it expecting it to be exactly like earlobe stretching, unfortunately. Um, so I started stretching my second hole probably at around, in this year, in around the ninth grade. Um, I got up to a 2 gauge and then I remember I downsized to I think about an 8 gauge. Um, I just went completely naked in my second hole. Um, it didn't shrink that much, it just shrank to an 8 gauge, like I said. So, um, be forewarned, it doesn't shrink up that much, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, then when I was probably about, uh, 18, um, I started stretching it again, and I got up to about a 4 gauge, and like, I like to say about uh, three months until I then started stretching, um, uh, my other ear because I did want to start catching up in both ears. Then I got to a two gauge again in this ear, and then, um, that's when it kind of became unfamiliar for my body, and then I did start using the taping method, which I do recommend to use the taping method as early as you possibly can in second hole stretching. Um, you can develop blowouts pretty easy in your second hole of your ear. Um, I've even experienced an external blowout in my uh, second hole. Uh, I literally just um, wrapped two layers of tape like a day early than I was supposed to, and I got a tiny blowout. Um, it's perfectly gone and healed, so yeah. Uh, the thing about second hole ear stretching is that it is more permanent than earlobes, so you do want to keep that in mind, um, with just the, um, making sure that your ear is healthy and stuff, because, uh, when you do get your ears reconstructed, how they do it is they cut right there, and then they cut this part off, then they connect this to there. And in a lot of cases, like in mine, the second hole's skin over here isn't long enough to connect to here. So, you are going to want to make sure that you do your best job stretching when you're doing your second hole in your ear. Just because it is more permanent. Uh, also, I would recommend waiting more than a month between stretches. I'd recommend between two to three months if you're doing, um, taping, or tapering. If you're using tape, I'd recommend doing, sorry, my cat, one to two, um, layers of a week. Um, no more, just because of my experience with it. Um, but that's basically it. Um... Uh, the hole, when you do stretch your second hole, is typically smaller than the hole when you actually have the jewelry in, which is kind of interesting. Um, but I'm not very experienced with how much it's going to shrink up. When I went to a 2, it didn't really shrink down that much. I went to an 8 gauge. 
So I'm at five eighths right now, almost at three fourths. So I really don't have an estimate on how much it should shrink up. Um, but yeah, basically, I'd recommend to start taping as early as you possibly can, and um, waiting a while just so that you don't blow out your ears just because this is very tight skin the higher up on your ear you go the thicker the skin is and the more cartilage you'll run into so that's basically it for the third hole in stretching it's basically the same thing as long as you don't hit any cartilage and that's basically it so check out my main channel where I'll be eating the hottest pepper in the world and that should be exciting. So I love you guys. Bye.